Sir, do you know how fast you were going? I'm afraid not, officer. My gauge is broken, and I'm just completely incontinent when it comes to fixing vehicles. Even so, sir, I'm going to have to give you a ticket. You were going 93 in a school zone. Also, I'm going to have to search your car. Why? Well, there's a report of a madman on the loose, and uh, the report of his car looks just like yours. Well, I assure you, officer, I'm not, I'm a completely normal person. I mean, I'm not inane in the least. Even so, it's routine. Please get out of the car. No, I don't like you incinerating the fact that I'm some sort of a crazy person. Incinerating? Sir, there's no fire here. I think you might be the crazy person here. Well, sir, I, do, I don't, I don't appreciate that. Get out of the car. No. Sir. Get out of the car, Are sir. Are you trying to inseminate me? What? I will not be inseminated by the likes of you. Sir, just wait here. Go. Uh, I'm gonna need some backup here. I think I found the crazy person. Thank you. Okay, sir, let's, let's try this again. Would you please step out of the vehicle? Thank you. I mean, there's no need to get all aggressive. Patience is a virgin, you know. I think my mom told me that one. All right. Where were you before now, sir? I was at a wedding conception. A wedding conception? Well, it was kind of late, but I mean, it was just because the groom was Indian and he wanted to get wear married wearing a turbine. And then the bride got bit by a spider in the dress. They got her an anecdote, but even so, like, it slowed the whole thing down. I'm not going to say it was a bad wedding conception, though, because, like, there were a ton of people there, and food was excellent. A ton of people at a wedding conception? Well, yeah, I mean, everybody participates in the wedding conception. Sir, did you participate? Well, I myself just sort of, like, stood off to the side and ate. I was so hungry. I deflowered two whole turkeys. You deflowered two turkeys? Pervert. Don't call me a pervert just for trying to prove my impotence. What? I, I mean, I'm just standing here trying to prove to you that I am impotent. Sir, please don't try to prove that to me. I, you know, I really shouldn't have to. This is America, where every man is considered impotent until proven gilded by a jury of his steers. What are you talking about? The degradation of rights in this country. All right, sir. I've heard enough. What are you doing? Don't get all, don't get all no, historical. Put, put your hands behind you like you're praying, sir. Sir, just... No. Come on. No! I'm impotent! I'm impotent! <laughs> sir, okay, I think, I, I think I've heard enough. Get on the floor. <laughs> <laughs>